In this lesson, we're going to look at how to use the priority queue class. We discussed queues in the beginning of the chapter. I showed you a diagram from Wikipedia that demonstrated how a queue takes data in at the back of the structure and then removes data from the front of the structure. It's an abstraction for a waiting line like you might see at a bank or a grocery store, for example. Priority queue is a little bit different than just a regular queue because it stores the data in its natural order. So in other words, as data is entered into the queue, it's sorted into whatever natural order for that data type is. So for example, string data will be stored alphabetically and numeric data will be stored in ascending order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So it's a little bit different than just a regular queue but it can work very similarly to a queue. Let's take a look at the fundamentals of how our priority queue works, and then in the exercises, we'll look at a more extended example. So we're going to call this program line.java. We have to import the priority queue class, so we'll do that first. And we're ready to start our program. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, instantiate an object. We'll call it line. And before that, we have to have the data type. We'll make it string. Set the angle bracket right there. And then open and close parentheses. Now we're going to just work with names as we usually do. So let's add a few names into our priority queue. And let's do one more. Now, just to see how the priority queue looks, we'll write a for each loop and print the names. And then let's compile and run it to make sure everything's working correctly so far. We'll save it. Go back to our command prompt. Let's clear the screen. Compile. And then run. And there are our names. To remove an item from a priority queue that is at the head, we do that by using a method called poll. And with poll, we don't have to have an argument. We just remove the item. So let's just do that. So we're going to call poll. Then let's use our loop again so that we can see that a name was indeed removed. I should also mention that we use the standard add method to add the names. I didn't mention that before because we've been doing it so much. I just kind of took it for granted that all of these classes that we've been looking at at this chapter add data primarily using the add method. All right, so we're going to use poll to remove the head element from the priority queue, and then we'll use the for loop to take a look at the rest of the line after that. So let's clear the screen, compile and then run, and it's hard to tell exactly where our line left, but you can see that Brian is no longer at the head. So the line now starts at Clayton and runs through David, because Brian was taken out. We can also remove items using the remove method. Let's take a look at that. Here we can remove a particular item. So if we want to remove Raymond, for example, we can remove Raymond like so. And let's add a header into this. Let's call it the line. And we'll just copy and paste that into place. Okay, so again, to remind you what we just did, first we used poll to remove the head element. Now we're going to use remove to remove a specific object or a specific element. Let's clear the screen, compile, and then run. Poll got rid of Brian. Here's the line there. Then we got rid of Raymond using remove. So those are the two methods to remove. If you're trying to simulate a line or a queue, then you want to use poll. If you're just trying to remove an item, then you can use remove. Last thing I want to show you is how to look at the head of the queue, the priority queue, and that's using a method called peak, P 
peak, let's just see what's at the beginning of the line at any particular time. We'll save it, and then compile, and then run. And so peak shows us that after all of our pulls and removes, Clayton is now at the head of this particular line. So those are the primary methods that we use in working with priority queues. So that wraps up this lesson, and we'll look at a better simulation of using a priority queue in the exercises, which will begin next. But we're going to start with an exercise using the tree set class.